Welcome back, Archers. Today we have something very, very, very special. I was waiting quite a long time for it, <laughs> for the wind, for the stormy weather. Nummeyer Archery. You know, they make now nice yumis and stuff like this. And so I asked him, listen, can't you make a hunky for me, a half-size yumi kind of? And he was checking and trying and building. And he said, now he made them. So I ordered three. It's not a cheap journey, I tell you directly, but what you get is this nice wrapping sleeve here around. You get a string and a pretty, I wanted to have it in black, hunky in 25 pounds. With a little bamboo wrapping here, a handle, which for me could be directly out of the box, a bit more squarish, that I have a bit more of this, you know, torque, but we will see, there we have a whipping. It's Numair's thing, how he does things. Not utterly most refined, it's a little rough, but it's fine. When they work, everything will be fine because I might give courses soon, yes. You can be afraid now, you Austrians. <laughs> 62 inches from knock to knock. Looks just nice, look at this, huh? Oh. And we have a string and there is some kind of knocking point already on it, I guess. So stringing, I string it with the normal step-through method because I can. You need to string it however you have to. <laughs> but it's only 25 pounds, so it's fine. So it's a nice laminated fiberglass bow. You know, we had these hankyus out of bamboo and ash. And after having them strung for five minutes, they get string for low and they lose quite some poundage. This one, I guess, will not lose that much. It's not a full review because I'm just checking there for me. He made them for me. We have seven three quarters spray side, which is nice. And the max draw of this bow is 32 inches. I can tell you the weight that you know this. Just in case you want to know. I want to know. Now, now I want to know. Now while I mention it. Lips. Oh, she's windy today, huh? Everything is falling. We it's 425. That's fine for a bow in this length. No, nothing to complain. So for me, next time the handle a bit more deep and a bit more square. This one is for my hands almost a little too small. So of course you overgrip the bow a little, but still, look at this. Yeah. Looks like it does, 32, maybe 30, 32. Of course, I wish it would be 32, 34. Maybe we can make another version a little longer, we make 34. Let's shoot this one. I forgot the price, as I said, it's not a, a cheap experience. The bow is $300 and shipping and custom per bow was then roughly another 90, so $390 and then you have it at your doorsteps, including customs and shipping. Shipping obviously is expensive and a takedown version for now is not thinkable, but we think of it because then you could, you know, maybe save some shipping costs. I ordered directly three, so I could at least divide the shipping costs through three bows and with, as I said, $90 and shipping and customs. But he makes it very nice look here with the with the writing on it. Here you have your poundage written. This is your handle. As I said, it's a little too flat for me. The width is okay, but could be a bit more deep, a bit more square. And for the rest here you have your upper part. Look at nice shiny this is. Huh? This is how this bow looks like, and now we see how this bow will shoot. Of course, for me, it will be then the kneeling shooting, as you know, and then with the whole form. But for now, we need to see which arrows are suitable. I would have the nice uh, bamboo tonkin, but they're only 30 inches, so a little too short. 
and of course you can shoot now with your thumb reel, you can do whatever, thumb and pinch draw and what have you, but that's now only for to see how the bow will work. So 30 inch arrows are easy and they fly nice, so maybe I can get some 32 inches from them because they look just nice. Look at this. Huh? But I need 32 inches, that's okay. Then I would have these ones, I think they are Korean ones, they are 30 inches and a little, so 31 maybe. They would be nice too. Wait a minute, this is the knocking point. Oh yeah, nice. So they can be nice and lightweight, no problem. We only have 25 pounds at 28. Nice. Then I have, yeah, of course, my 32 inch white ones from Martin Spurry. So see, they are most probably a bit too lightweight. Oh, not bad. So carbon, maybe carbon with some bamboo look or something. Not white ones, they look a little boring. But I need to take what I have now. So, and then I thought before I shoot now 32 inches, because usually the arrows are a little longer. Why not shooting 34 inch arrows? Only need to make sure that, oh yeah, that you don't draw more than 32, but you feel it at the end. That's nice. I like this one. And now of course you can shoot bare finger or you, I got a new thumb ring this weekend from Hannes in Austria. He is 3D printing nice thumb rings. Let's see how this one works with the hunk you. Oi. The string is very thin, so you need to take care of it. Yeah, yeah, or of course, I got already a new one, but I don't have it now with me. From Mark, Zack, another 32 inchy. Yep, feels good. Oh, my target fell. Nice. Or, of course, they can be even a little longer, 36 inch arrows. These are Tokala White from Niora. Klaus Schüssler sent them to me. Oh yes. Oh, I think they need to be a little longer. Then this is a little more fun. So I need 36 inch arrows for this bow. Look at this, how nice. Oh yeah. And I start even shooting a group. That's nice. Or, brilliant. This is another Korean one. This, uh, this Tonkin bamboo would be nice, uh, but I need them in 36 then. <laughs> These are the Korean ones in 30. Yeah, rough. So 36 inches is the way to go, I guess. So let's shoot from only 36 inches and with a leather thumb protection. <laughs> nice. Let's kneel. And of course, uh, this will be then part in my courses like Inochi Hanmato, you know, that's I'll save your comment. Uh, it's my way of doing Shihanmato, it's a simplified Kyudo form that you get either one or you two. We will see how I will do it. Don't know yet. Make a bit meditation and breathing and what have you. These arrows are nice, I only need to make the fletching on it. So, like so, but you know that you saw these videos already. Cool. 
shoots nice. made very happy to have proper hunkies now it's fun and of course you slow it down even more add some more meditation Stop now, otherwise I break my arrows. Holy moly, nice. would be nice to end my trip. It's too windy, it's too windy. A quick check of the speed, not that it matters. The arrows are roughly 470 grain. They're of course now quite heavy. But it's just to see what the bow is doing. No? Exactly. Oops, I'm a little close. Huh? So. Hundred forty-five. Yep. And that's already fine by me with heavy arrows, you know. Hundred thirty-eight. Oh, you need to do your torque, otherwise you lose momentum. See 150, and that's fine by me. 150 foot per second for a hunk you with heavy arrows. 139. Ah, there are two different spines, so maybe they are a little different in weight, these arrows. 146. Let's see what another arrow would do. And we are roughly 25, 28 plus, so we are maybe at 35 pounds. 156. And 159, so it's in the range of a normal fiberglass bow, but it's hunky awesome. <laughs> Just measured it, it's 31 pounds at 32. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. I like, I like, I like, I like.
can tell you it's a lot of fun. Something completely different. And you should try it. thing is, not even if you have a beginner who draws only 28 inches or something, it's fine too. See, this bow just performs in the form, it draws 28, it goes the same way. Will you draw 32 inches? Both and everything between is just fine. See. Has, of course, more oomph than 32. But if you have little ones or they don't draw that long or they are still a little afraid, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, just fine. That's a fine job. That's fun. It really is fun to shoot. I mean, even standing, it's nice, obviously. This is Hilarious. So cool. It's just a really, really good bow and I like it. Look, this is like, and it looks pretty. Of course, it's, we talk in, in Indonesian price re regiments, re sort of, it's already a premium product. I mean, almost $400 until you have it. It's not cheap, but this bow works. Will not have string follow, will keep its poundage, will keep its shape. It's fine by me. So, and you know, you invest in a good bow, then you're good to go. And since stringing, unstringing, easy. See, and the bow goes back in its shape. Pretty good. Well done, Nomi Archery. I said for the next ones, I would like to have them a little longer. Maybe we can reach 34 inches. And the handle could be, for me, a bit more square-ish. That have a bit more pronounced corner here. Here, it's a bit too flat. So the, this surface here could be a little wider. Then I have more for my for my torque but it works already so it's nothing nothing against it it works it's pretty just does the job and it's 400 dollars and it's fast enough 100 what did we have 50 foot per second 60 foot per second with lightweight arrows no problem at all so stay tuned that you see where i end up and i will use them then in courses including a little meditation before a bit breathing work and then you follow your form, you shoot some arrows, you know, and afterwards you do a little meditation again and it will be something very, very good, very nice, I guess. See, fiberglass runs up to here. So you have no problem with this bow. It's really a pretty bow. I need to clean it already. We have here a few from the wax of the string but you can polish them, but it's not overly shiny, so it's, it's, it's semi-gloss, I would say. It's just fine, looks premium, still a little old school, so it's just, just right. So I guess we have to make here a signature series, Arminium Asiatic Archery. What do you think, Numair? Isri? Archery? Nice. So, I like it. Go check him out. You can write him a message uh, if you want one. I told you the price. Now he knows how to make them, so now everything will work fine. Great. He does a good job. He is really good. So, and the thumb glove works nice. The thumb ring works nice. Shell hook I will try, and then we see how this works. But 
Stay tuned, you will see more of this. Maybe even take it to the 3D park. You never know. So thank you very much, Numi Archery, for making them. It's a little expensive, but what can I do? It's, it's, it's a good bow and it's for a laminated bow, $300, I guess it's fine. Shipping and customs, not your problem. It's just how it is, we have to deal with it. But fine, thank you very much for making. And for you all out there, thank you very much for watching, subscribing, commenting and sharing these videos. I appreciate and I see you in the next one.